Hello everybody. Uh, there's been a lot of demand for some sort of instructional video or documentation on how to get over uh, 2,000 hashes per second with the Vega Frontier graphics cards. So I'm just going to make a really simple video uh, showing that it's possible, right, and showing exactly how to do it. Um, I'm going to write a detailed document on how this is done, right? But for now, I'm just going to show you, assuming that you have all the tools that you need already, which would inclu include the Adrenaline uh, 18.3.4 driver uh, for the AMD, and also the latest version of DDU, and also uh, the Soft Power Play Table Editor. Um, which is, mar you know, it's marketed as being for the Vega 64, but it also works for the Vega Frontier, right? And we'll need that since we can't use overdrive anymore with the 18.3.4 drivers. We can use it to confirm that um, the soft power play table has, um, that, that the registry settings have taken effect when we overclock our card, right? But you can't apply it using overdrive, so, and... We're also going to look at the intensity settings for XMR stack. You know, and you also need XMR stack 2.3.4. And, and I can't explain, or, or is it 2.4.3? Anyways, I can't explain why, um, but I'm able to get faster hashes um, per second on my Vega Frontiers using the Kryptonite Heavy algorithm than I am <laughs> with Monero 7 or Intense Coin or any of those other algorithms. You know, well, not Kryptonite Lite, that's just insane, but. Anyways, here's how I do it. Right? So I'm going in. Uh, I remote desktop into my miner. I don't have anything plugged into it, no monitor. But uh, I'll, I'll, you know, I have uh, four air cooled Vega Frontiers on my machine. So I'm just going to go ahead and use DDU. And I'm going to uninstall my drivers. I'm sure this isn't anything new. This is something you've all done before. Right? I'm just going to go ahead and remove it. And there's a separate utility that I've actually uh, come across that uh, has a pretty useful batch file that uses DevCon to disable and enable the display adapters. So I'll leave a link to that as well because I didn't write it. But basically, uh, oh, that's the other thing you'll need as well is a Windows uh, 10 software development kit. It happens to include a, uh, an executable called devcon.exe, which allows you to um, manipulate local devices. So, I'm going to remote desktop into my miner. Oops. click on that. So I go to uh, my device manager. You see I got all four devices here, completely fresh. I just happen to have a separate folder for each coin that I mine, in case I want to set different intensity settings for it. Um, here's my amd.txt file. Right, so with Kryptonite Heavy, you have to figure out the maximum that your card can have for an intensity setting per, per thread and then back it off a bit. Right, and for the second thread, I have it set to less. You know, I'm not quite sure of the you know, exact mathematical reason for why this is the case. But I have the first thread set to as high as my card can go on Kryptonite Heavy. Right? And I have 
the second thread uh, throttle back to about just over three quarters of what it should be. Right? And again, that's not you know that's not my <laughs> exact mathematical reasoning for why I don't have one. Right? Um, this just happens to be the best intensity setting that works for me. Right? So I'm going to open up two command prompts. As administrator, and after I've loaded them up as administrator, I'm going to go to the folder where I happen to have extracted my soft uh, power table registry files, right? And again, I'm going to link. To this eventually uh, hopefully by the end of the night but after I'm done this video of course um, I don't happen to have the link to where I got this from um, but somebody's taken the time to write this batch file that uses devcon right. you have to modify it ever so slightly uh, for the number of cards that you have in your machine, you have to put an entry into this batch file, right? And you have to make a, um, a registry file for every single card that you have. Right? If you have your display adapter zero as one of your primary uh, as one of your Vegas, you have to put that here, right? If uh, if if you have an integrated GPU as your uh, very first adapter, you want to make your first Vega one, and so on and so forth. But you have to copy this registry file a few times. So you have one, two, three, four, right? And you just have a matching number here in this batch file. So, anyways, <clears throat> oh yes, and these uh, these registry files you can tweak them uh, using the Soft Power Play um, Vegas 64 Soft Power Table Editor, right? And and don't be fooled by the name, right? Uh, this works perfectly fine with Vega Frontier. I use it to tweak my own settings, right? Um, and and that's that's how you would best overclock it. Like you don't use one. So um, I'm going to go ahead and install the uh, Adrenaline 18.3.4 drivers. I'm going to right click and uh, go to update driver. I'm not going to use the AMD installer. Right? I just want to install the raw files. Right. So in, in this video assumes that you already have your drivers extracted to the, to the root C drive under your AMD folder. So, uh, 18.3.4, packages, drivers, display, uh, yeah, right, okay, Vega Frontier Edition, next, yep, looks good, just going to install the Vega Frontier drivers, so there's another tool again that we're going to want to use eventually after this is done installing called AMD Compute Switcher, you know, since we don't have access to the uh, Radeon settings or whatever using this installation technique, we're going to use the AMD Compute Switcher, and this just modifies the registry setting um, that allows your Vegas to have a large uh, memory page size. Right? So it just sets that value to 2 in your registry. You don't even have to worry about that. Uh, this Compute Switcher will do it. Right? So we'll just wait for this to finish installing, but it should be very quick. It's a lot faster than the blockchain installation, actually. It's done, All right? So let's go look. You can still use overdrive to uh, or overdriven to see what your current settings are at for your uh, clock speeds and whatnot, right? Like by default, this is my clock speed settings, I guess, after I install the Vega drivers, right? 
So these are not the settings that we're going to use, right? So I'll just, you know, I'm going to try to apply the settings. It's going to fail. You know, we can't use it using this technique, right? I will go ahead and use this batch file that somebody has so generously created. You just want to apply that bat. It's going to apply the registry settings for each one of my four cards. Just basically telling like using a software overclock to instruct the card, like you know what the memory clock speed should be, the power control, all that good stuff, voltage. All right, so I'm going to run XMR stack now to show you that it's not running at full speed yet. Right, everything's pretty much primed to go. It's set at 2008 as an intensity setting for the first thread, 1868 for the second thread for the first graphics card, so on and so forth for all the other graphics cards. All right, but I'm going to run it. You know, it's only going to be about half speed though. So it's hashing, it's working, but... Oh, one more piece too before I actually forget. You're still going to want to set the virtual memory size to be as... Uh, not as high as you can get it, but... This is a, this is approximately for vo for four Vegas. This is a pretty decent size for um, the virtual memory settings. There's a, I can't remember. I've I've known and forgotten why I set it to this to this uh, size, right? But I, I think it's one for every gigabyte of memory that you have on your graphics card. You want to set it to that times two, or I'm sorry, I can't remember right now, but. Uh, just just uh, for the purpose of this video, I just want to show you that I do have the virtual memory size set very high, right? Um, anyways. So it's hashing away, right? Very disappointing speed. It's not even hashing properly in the other, th on the other threads at all, right? Um, you can see, uh, if I refresh, well, the soft power, the soft power table's actually gone ahead and clocked the card properly for me. Right, so despite that, it's still hashing like garbage. So I'm gonna cancel that. I'm gonna finish running that compute, AMD compute tool. It changes that registry setting for you. Not in compute mode. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's put it into compute mode. It, it hasn't taken effect yet. You have to disable each card and re-enable it in order for it to actually start working. So I'm just going to use this tool to do it again. <coughs> Excuse me. So now it should actually be fat, uh, hashing at full speed, at the unbelievable speed of, you know, I think it's going to get up to about 8.9 kilo hashes per second for four Vega Frontier cards. Here we go. See, I'm not making it up. You know, it's not. It's actually. You can see it's f hashing faster than it would for. Like Monero or Intense Coin or you know, one of those other uh, Kryptonite based coins. It's slowing down a little bit. I think it's because my fan took a little while to kick on, but. You know, no bad results. Yay, no errors, right? I'm connected to Hash Vault's uh, mining pool. 
Yeah, there we go. It's going back up again now that the temperature is going down a bit. There you have it.